Judgment and Appeal, Secretary of State for the Home Department and Al Jeddah. Lord Wilson will give the judgment. This is an appeal by the Home Secretary against an order made on 29 March 2012 by the Court of Appeal in England and Wales. The Court's order relates to an order which the Home Secretary had made in relation to Mr. Al Jeddah, the respondent to the appeal, on 14 December 2007. The history is that Mr. Al Jeddah was born in Iraq and so acquired Iraqi nationality. In 1992, he came to the UK and sought asylum. In 1998, he and his family were granted indefinite leave to remain here, and in 2000, they were granted British citizenship. This meant that Mr. Al Jeddah lost his Iraqi nationality. In 2004, Mr. Al Jeddah went to Iraq and was arrested on suspicion of being a member of a terrorist group. British forces then detained him in Iraq for more than three years. Whether that detention was lawful was an issue which generated substantial litigation. It proceeded to the House of Lords, where Mr. Al Jeddah lost, and ultimately to the European Court of Human Rights in Strasbourg, where he won. Days before Mr. Al Jeddah's release from detention in Iraq, the Home Secretary made the order, which is the subject of the appeal. It was that he should be deprived of his British citizenship on the basis that to deprive him of it was conducive to the public good. Mr. Al Jeddah appealed against the Home Secretary's order. His first argument was that it was not established that to deprive him of his citizenship was conducive to the public good. Mr. Al Jeddah lost that argument. But his second argument was based on Section 44 of the British Nationality Act 1981, which provides that the Home Secretary cannot deprive a person of his citizenship if it would make him stateless. Mr. Al Jeddah contended that her order would make him stateless. The Home Secretary disagreed. For various reasons, it has taken more than five years to resolve this issue, which has generated two visits to the Court of Appeal. One of the Home Secretary's arguments has been that, either under a law introduced in Iraq in 2004, or under one introduced there in 2006, Mr. Al Jeddah's Iraqi nationality had then automatically revived. This argument was complicated and energetically disputed. In the end, by its most recent order, the Court of Appeal rejected it, and this court has refused to allow the Home Secretary to appeal against the rejection. What is left is a subsidiary argument on behalf of the Home Secretary, which the Court of Appeal also rejected, but in respect of which this court did permit her to appeal. Her argument is founded on an assumption. The assumption is that on the date of her order, it was open to Mr. Al Jeddah under Iraqi law to apply for restoration of his Iraqi nationality and that, had he then applied for it, it would immediately have been granted to him. Actually, adds the Home Secretary, she now understands that Mr. Al Jeddah did almost immediately apply for and obtain restoration of his Iraqi nationality, an allegation hotly denied by Mr. Al Jeddah. But her argument is that, if and in so far as he did not apply, then what made him stateless in December 2007 was not her order, but his failure to make the application. This court rejects her argument. It is contrary to common sense. Section 44 requires a straightforward inquiry. At the point when the Home Secretary made her order, was Mr. Al Jeddah a citizen of another state? If not, then her order would make him stateless. The possibility that he might then acquire another nationality doesn't come into it. 
Parliament could easily have added words into the subsection to make clear that a deprivation order can be made if the person, although made stateless by it, could immediately acquire another nationality. But it didn't do so, and it would be wrong for the court to read those words into it. So the appeal is dismissed. The court is now adjourned. <laughs>